Hello friend, here is a great news for all the selector sub user on the Edge browser. Now you can open selector sub and selector sub pro just by clicking on the logo as well as through keyboard. You just click on the logo and it will open like this. Boom. You need not to like right click then click on inspect then searching here in dev tools where is the selector sub and all those things you need not to do that just by clicking on the logo here you can open it's very simple and very easy you can also use the keyboard shortcut as well like uh, you can just press on if you are using the mac browser you can press command shift s to open it if you are using the uh, windows then you can press control shift s also you can set the keyboard shortcut like you can change it and there may be a chance that it might not work for you in that case what you have to do so to change the keyboard shortcut as well as to activate it in your system what you have to do just right click on the logo of selector sub or selector sub pro both uh, same way you can do right click on the logo click on manage extension here on the left side you will find the keyboard shortcuts click on this and here you see that activate the extension here it is written this uh, command so what you have to do click on this and here you can press the same keys combination which you want to use to open the selector sub so let's say i want to open through command shift s so i will press command shift and s key here and you see that it is entered here let's say in case of selector sub pro we want to change this to command shift k so now if I will press command shift K, <coughs> command shift K, it will open selector sub pro. If I want, uh, will press command shift S, it will open selector sub. So this is how you can set the keyboard shortcut as well on uh, selector sub for selector sub on edge browser. Same way in fact in Chrome as well. Now let's see what all other features you will find in the uh, this selector sub so basically this is selector sub 5.0 so let me just open this 5.0 here what's new in selector sub 5.0 so you can open selector sub in one click keyboard shortcuts to open sh selector sub inspector can inspect all kinds of elements so if you open let me show in pro version for a second so you see that now we have the inspector here so if you select this inspector and you try to inspect any element here you can inspect any kind of element on the browser. So this is another great way that you can use the selector sub inspector to inspect any element and whenever you want to uh, deactivate that just right click. Source element property just by hovering on any element. So I will show this like uh, I will show this on practice page. Before that ID and name attribute on context menu. So now if you right click on any element and if there will be ID and column ID and name attribute will be available it will show here. So right now for this element ID and name is not available so it is showing name and ID attribute is not available but if that will be available it will show that. Rearrange the order of selectors as per your preference. So if you want to now rearrange the order of these selectors so you can do that just hold here and you see that you will be able to drag and drop wherever you want to change the position like let's say some people want to keep the relative CSS selector on top so in that case now you can change the order and there are lots of other customizations as well which you will find under customize if you go here you see that you can uh, see lots of customization here what you want to change or anything that you will see here attribute and all those features are already there if you want to expand this for the better view you can always expand so that all things you can do access based x path is here you can quickly just inspect two elements to generate the access based x path so all those features are there let's say you have activated the uh, inspector and it is always activate you want to deactivate this just right click and it will de deactivate it so that's the thing you can save selector here always you will find those values you can uh, change the like you can use the case insensitive and all those things selectors healing feature is here page object model is there debugger feature is there double quotes feature all the features are there you can generate the code as well so those things are there and here let me just show you under, under practice page all the features like uh, 
element properties and id and name uh, value in the context menu so that you can find it there let me just open google.com just to say simple thing and uh, select a sub practice page this page has never opened here so on google.com let's say if this might be having the uh, id and name so it will show the id and name value okay this also doesn't have let me just show it here right click inspect and this has the id value it has the name value so it is showing here you can see that email user id so whichever element will be having that value it will show you and if you click here inspect element and you keep moving the mouse you see that this is a svg element so it is showing right there if any element will be inside shadow dom it will let you know that this element is inside shadow dom in fact you need not to inspect that element so that value you directly get it here if any element will be inside iframe that also it, it will show you so let me show you some elements which are inside iframe nested iframe so that also you can see and inspect from here like you inspect any element which could be inside iframe so that you can inspect here <clears throat> if you ever found any issue you can just refresh the page you see that this element is inside iframe so it is telling you that this is inside iframe so this kind of uh, like element property it will show you right there even without inspecting the elements which will save a good amount of time and effort for you also like if you want to write any selectors or anything you can just start typing here and as usual it will start showing the suggestion as it was showing in the dev tools and if you want to use it in the dev tools like you have open dev tools let's say inspect and open dev tools so if dev tools selectors of panel will be open then that will be the first priority at that time it will not work here so if you want to use it here then you will have to close the selectors of in dev tools then only it will work there okay so but if you want to keep open dev tools then you can keep it open at that time it will work but if you will open selectors sub here in dev tools in that case it will not work and make sure that you just have the like if you are using the pro version then just install the free version use the pro version and uh, so that like there will not be any conflict but yeah if you are using the free version you can continue using the free version so this is there so now you can save a good amount of time and I hope like you guys are enjoying selector sub and it will save a good amount of time and this is how you can open now selector sub just by clicking on the logo. I will request all of you that please share about this new feature in your uh, QA group in your QA network and let everyone know about this great feature of selector sub on edge browser. This feature was already live on the chrome browser so now uh, side panel feature clicking on logo is supporting on chrome browser and, and edge browser currently it is not supporting in firefox and opera so but yeah soon as soon as they will uh, support the side panel api those browsers then we will add the support there as well so yeah these are the great up, great updates on selector sub edge browser thank you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and like this video and share with others thank you thank you so much